Today we're going to go through what you get in the Planner 2D Portable Diesel Heater Kit from Expedition Upfitters, as well as doing the first startup and seeing how it heats up the habitat. Coming up. My name's Drew and this is Everyday Overland. On this channel, we showcase 4x4 and off-road vehicle modifications, we hone our outdoor cooking skills and techniques, and we do reviews on camping and overland gear like the one we're going to talk about today. I don't do a ton of cold weather camping now, but I'd like to do more of it in the future. Being that I'm in Washington and the rain can kind of come at an inopportune time, forcing you into whatever shelter you're out there camping in. In the past, I've always used just a little Mr. Buddy heater to take away the chill from hanging out inside of your tent or inside of whatever your enclosure is. Not necessarily just for sleeping, but just to keep the bite away if you're forced inside due to rain or something like that. And to be honest, it is nice to kind of heat up the space you're sleeping in right before you crawl into your sleeping bag to go to bed or right when you wake up in the morning. I feel like you can definitely score some brownie points with your significant other if you can keep them warm and comfortable when you're out camping. The Mr. Buddy heater has served me really well for quite a few years, but I felt it was time to upgrade. And recently I sold my dirt bike. I haven't really been using it over the past few years and I wanted a little bit of cash to throw into the Tundra for a couple of high priced items. One was my new Yesu FTM XDR ham radio setup that you can find a link to the video I did on that right up here somewhere. And the other was this super awesome planner portable diesel heater system to replace my Mr. Buddy heater. This unit really is pretty sweet and it puts everything you need to heat your enclosure in a nice tight, pretty lightweight little package. Now I'm not 100% sure who manufactures the planner heater that is installed into this unit. I thought they were made in Russia, but I could be wrong about that. But the company that manufactures this whole kit and puts it together is Expedition Upfitters up in British Columbia, Canada. They do all sorts of really unique things with like uh, campers and different fixtures and all sorts of stuff. Go check out their website. But one thing that they really are known for is creating these all-in-one portable little heater units. The box that they build this whole system into is, I believe, a total composites similar to a Pelican case or some of the Plano case is now super rugged and heavy duty has some super awesome latches on it with this little lock detent to open it up steel reinforced uh locks here so you could lock it closed if you needed to and just all around a really nice quality probably damn near indestructible case so let's get into this thing take a look at everything you get in the kit and talk about it a little bit more in depth on the front here i'm not exactly sure what this is for but it is a little vent that goes to the inside of the box probably just to dissipate some of the heat on the side you have your exit of the exhaust coming from the diesel heater on the inside on the back through some super heavy duty waterproof fittings you have two plugs coming through here one is going to be your lead going to your positive and your negative battery terminal and the other one is going to be going to your control module to control your heat levels you have your seven liter diesel or kerosene fuel container right here strapped to the outside kerosene is recommended when you're at really high altitudes or it's super super cold out it's just what i happen to have laying around so that's what i'm going to fire it up with today you have a fuel on off valve right here and then you have your burn chamber intake right here with a filter on the top of it that way if it's dusty or anything like that you don't have to worry about sucking in contaminants and all that kind of stuff into your burner and then on the side here you have your air outlet that your long heated extension tube gets plugged onto and then run into the tent or whatever you're trying to heat so you depress these two little locks flip them open and everything you need to get this thing going is on the inside it's got a waterproof seal around the edge of this which is great but in the end this thing isn't completely waterproof being that this vent in the front is a pass-through it's nice it'll keep the water from getting into it when you don't want to and these fins on here are actually directional so you can face them down if it is raining out the water will shed right past those fins on the inside you pretty much have everything you got your warning labels and all that kind of stuff you have their quick start guide right here laminated nicely and then you have the owner's manual for the actual planner heater right here up top you have the 15 foot power cord gets hooked up to your power and negative terminal it'll get hooked up to the outside of this through the waterproof anderson style plug and down below you also get a 15 foot foot cord for the temperature control that gets plugged into a similar waterproof style Anderson plug on the outside of the box. Now on their website you have the option to go in with an analog dial style controller for this unit as well as a digital style and I went with the digital so so here's the manual for that. So here's that little guy and a little mounting bracket for it as well. You also have the choice between a five foot and a ten foot tube. I went with the ten foot tube because I'm going to be running this thing on the ground outside of the tent. Now one huge benefit to going with a diesel heater system like this is that 
that. Propane has water and liquid in it, and that will actually get into the tent, and that's what you get that condensation kind of accumulating on the sides of the tent on the inside. This unit actually does all of the heating through a heat exchanger running on the inside of this box, so you're getting completely dry heat into the tent. Also, another really important thing to mention about this and other diesel style heaters is, I guess it's really detrimental to the heater itself if your power gets cut off to it during its use, probably because it doesn't have a chance to go through its normal cool down cycles. So what you wanna make sure of is that you have this permanently mounted in a way where power is not gonna get interrupted unexpectedly. I have not installed a permanent system in the truck for hooking this up to the battery. So for the initial test up and run through, I'm gonna use a backup battery that I have lying around. Let's go ahead and get this thing ready to do its initial fire up. Go ahead and get my battery hooked up. I believe it said to hook up the negative first and the positive. Back, I'm just gonna undo that a little bit to give me a little bit of, give me a little bit of extra cable. It's just gonna slide into your one-way connection. Good to go on the control panel. Anderson style plug only goes together one right here. So I've got my control panel hooked up to that. Gonna hook my electrical connection up. All right, so I'm going through the uh, instruction manual of this digital controller and it's got a lot of stuff that it can do timing wise, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna hold off on reading through all of that, the timing and all that kind of stuff that you can set through it and just try to get this thing fired up. Turn this little knob right down here all the way counterclockwise to open up the fuel and allow it to go into the chamber. And then I believe if I'm reading this right, turn it on, go right here, press that once. It says starting, Ooh, I just heard the heater kick on. Probably heating up a glow plug right now. I think that's the pump. I think that's the fuel pump. Starting to get some exhaust coming out of this thing. Getting some air. It's kicking on. You can really hear this thing start to fire up and get going. Oh, I think I, my hands are pretty cold. It's pretty cold out right now. But I think I'm starting to feel a little bit of heat behind it right now. That took a minute. I was like, what the heck's going on? It takes a couple of minutes to uh, fire up and get going, but it's starting to kick up the heat. I could definitely see my wife sitting around like this. Okay, so it's been running for a couple of minutes. A little metal exhaust tip at about 159 degrees. Out here, just in general, the side of the house is 45 degrees. And the heat that's coming out of this, 135, 137. 140, that's pretty sweet. Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off, let it go through its cool down cycle. So I think I just do what I did in reverse. I do know that this, if I press it once, should go stop shutting down. You hear it stop running. And then I'm gonna let it go through its cool down process until it stops making a sound before I unplug anything. I think it's just running the fan, cooling down all the components on the inside until it is down to a good temperature. And then I'm gonna move it into the backyard. We're gonna put it in the habitat and see how it works at heating up the habitat. All right, out here on the ground, I got it all hooked up, ready to go. I just got my little tote out here to keep the dog away from the exhaust. I got my air hose run from the planter heater up into the tent. And then I've got my uh, control unit here that I'm also gonna run up into the tent. Let's go ahead and go on the inside, fire this guy up. So we're on the inside now. I got this thermometer right here set to 48 degrees. If I take a temperature of that little piece right there, that little foam piece, that's 43 degrees. So now eventually I might want to put some sort of keeper on the end of this so it doesn't want to slide out the hole in the side here but I think for the most part being that this is going to be kind of a system that can come with me when I need it and stay home when I don't I am going to run it up through here well I'm going to see how long it takes to get to 70 degrees in here which is room temperature so we're at 48 degrees right now I'm going to start the clock once I hear this thing fire up all right the air is going this thing really started kicking up right about three minutes well, I don't know how long it's going to take for this thing to reach 70 degrees in here, but it just went up 50, probably been about eight minutes or whatever. But right now, I mean, what I'm sitting on is kind of cold, but in general, it's you can feel it in here. It's starting to get pretty comfortable for just sitting and hanging out. So that is awesome. This thing's starting to really kick up. I mean, it's probably pumping out as hot as it's going to be uh, now. Yeah, 152, 156, 157. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear the operating of this or not. Uh, I'll get my mic a little close to it. You know, that's full speed on the fan. I sleep with a fan on at home, so that'll be nice if I do choose to leave this thing on while we sleep. And for the most part, the only thing you really hear from the heater running itself is the fuel pump pumping fuel into it. And it's just a little clunk, 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 clunk. That's totally manageable. That's honestly not gonna ruin the camping experience for me. Uh, 
That's super cool. So I am planning an insulation build to the inside of this where I modify it a little bit with freezer blankets is what I'm gonna use, or at least that freezer blanket material. Cause let's be real, this thing is not insulated and uh, tent material is only gonna hold in the heat so well. So eventually that is going to come to this habitat. I'm gonna figure out a way to insulate it a little bit. But for the time being, I mean, this is absolutely awesome in here. The thermometer is saying 57 degrees. It's been almost 18 minutes. I think for the most part, this is working out really well. I definitely wanna say I'm gonna grab a carbon monoxide detector and put it somewhere in here just so that I could be sure that we're not poisoning ourselves while we sleep or something like that. So been a little over 40 minutes I've been sitting in here and although I love hanging out in my habitat I'm about done. This thing's been cranking on high the whole time. It's definitely hotter up here than it is down below but heat rises that's the nature of it. So far we have reached 64 degrees on the thermometer here pretty consistently about 150 out of here on its highest setting. What's going to be cool is this is kind of an accordion thing so so if we're hanging out down over here in the seating area, I can just kind of turn that and angle it towards us and it'll heat, heat up this area over here. I'm eventually gonna hook all of the electrical stuff up permanently to the battery underneath me and uh, mount this somewhere permanently as well. Figure out some sort of quick connect that I can do through the uh, habitat sidewall or whatnot. It's definitely warmed it up in here and made it way more enjoyable just to sit around and hang out, you know, more comfortable when it's 43 degrees outside. It's now 68 degrees inside. I am super Super excited that I can turn on and off the system with a little remote right here so I can reach out of my sleeping bag in the morning and fire this bad boy up right before we get out of bed so it's just nice to get changed and ready for the day in here. If you're in the market for a portable diesel heater for your rig, consider this unit. Give the people over at Expedition Upfitters a call. They were super helpful with all the questions I had with this. Be aware that if you are in the US and you're getting this shipped to you from Canada that you'll have to pay some sort of duty tax. I'll put in the description section below how much I ended up paying but you'll just want to make sure that you have kind of a blank check filled out for when the UPS or FedEx person gets to your door. Hey, I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you got something out of it. If you like this video and want to let me know I've done a good job, hit that like button below, mash the subscribe button to be notified when I put out a new video each week. I put some links and information in the description section of this video over to Expedition Upfitters. You can follow that over there to get in contact with them. If you have any questions about the heater or the video that I might be able to answer, throw a comment in the comment section below. Tell me different videos that you might like to see in the future. I love interacting with you guys and building out this community. If you want to follow me in other locations, you can follow me over on Instagram. It's at Evergreen Overland. Uh, I use that as kind of my daily, you know, happenings, new videos that will be coming up down the line. So I'd appreciate a like and a follow over there as well. And you can go over to evergreenoverland.com to take a look at what we're doing over there. Feel free to throw me your email and a contact list if you want to be notified of, you know, specials or whatever I might have coming up in the future. And if you're a brand or just somebody who wants to get a hold of me, you can email me over at evergreenoverland at gmail.com. I hope you're continuing to modify and experiment with your own vehicle and your own camping setup. I really appreciate you again. Again, I really appreciate you watching this video and have a good day. Again, I really appreciate you watching the video. Have a good day.